Hey guys, it's Tom, and it's been a while since I've done my last tutorial of VoiceOver, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial on YouTube modules layer styles. If you don't know what I mean, in a YouTube background, the bits in the middle the ho that hold the, the video, your information, that's what I mean by modules. And just layer styles on that that make them look a lot, a lot nicer and more presentable. I'm going to show you how to make it look good. Right, okay. I'm just going to start. I'm going to make the background black. I'll zoom in a bit more. Um, basically, you double click on the layer, the modules layer, so you get the layer styles up. And I start off with a stroke. Um, I'm going to do it red. Maybe a dark red. Maybe, a, yeah, a darkish red. And turn the opacity down to maybe like 50 or whatever color you want. Put a outer glow. Turn it up a bit, so it's like, it's not too much, it doesn't, the glows don't to uh, touch each other from the bottom half and the top half. I'll make it white, and just turn the opacity down a lot. Also, if you want to give it like a glowing feel, you can add inner glow, and make the size a lot smaller, and then just turn the opacity down to whatever you want, really. And make it the same colour as, oh, whoa. I'm editing the out. Oh, that was a fail. Alright. In a go. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, just make it the same colour as you did the stroke. Turn the op opacity down a bit. Gives it more of a glow. I don't know if that looks great. But I'm going to forget in a glow. I'd say the most important thing is bevel and emboss. I'll just take off that. Yeah, the outer glow. There. Oh, I'm at practice, I'm blah blah a bit. I can't even think of the word. Right, anyway, Babylon Boss. Usually I change the gloss contour to this one. The one that's like a back to front L. So it gives it a really nice effect. I've changed the technique to chisel hard. Or maybe chisel smooth. Depends what you like. If you're smooth or not. <laughs> maybe anti aliased yeah. And I'll do with chisel hard. And then go on to contour. And you can mix around with whatever you want, but I quite like this one, like two big points. I always check tick anti aliased alias, I don't know. And then just move it until it looks good. I usually move it to like forty five because then you got like two layers. It makes it look like really glossy, really kind of stands out a bit. You can maybe add uh some like scan lines. I don't know, whatever you like to do. Looks quite cool. I don't know. Maybe some grids. Turn the opacity down to like seven. Hmm. What else can you do? You could. You maybe if you want to do a gradient. I don't know. Just change this to like a color. And move the black up a lot. Make it radial. I don't know, whatever you like the look of. You can maybe mess a drop shadow in a shadow if it's not black, the modules aren't black. But I'm keeping them black for this tutorial. Also, I'm going to show you um, how, like, for example, on... Give me a second. <laughs> on, on my V9 Studios, yeah, V9 Studios background, it's got like a outline to some of the modules boxes or maybe just one load, load. yeah here like it's got a line there and then it's got lines here like red lines glowing lines if you want to learn how to do that kind of thing I'll show you now as well um, hmm. basically you go onto your modules layer and then basically all you do is you get a normal modules with all the shapes and everything you drag it on top until it all fits in use the arrow keys to move it up Sorry, right. and then basically all you do I'm going to make this I'll make it a bright colour so you can tell right basically you want to cut, erase the bits you don't want. So I only want this box here, the outlines to that. So I'll remove the top box. I 
and I'll remove oh, this box. That's a slow progress. And this box. And then all you want to do is you want to turn stroke on. So whatever colour we'll keep, we'll do it red, for example. And then you go back onto the blending options and you turn the fill opacity down. What the hell? Oh yeah, right, yeah. Turn off colour overlay. And then you've got like an outline here. Right, what you want to do now, make a layer underneath it, select that that box layer, make them one layer, control E to make to combine them into one layer. And then you've just got this outline. And then you can add maybe an maybe an outer glow of red as well. And then turn the opacity down a bit. And then if you want you can just rub bits out to make it look like it's fading. You know, just kinda of mess around with that kind of thing. But I hope that helped. Um and yeah, also let's try and get Akira one K. He's almost he's almost there, he's only thirty subs away. So I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. Help him get there if you can, check out his stuff, his link will be in the description. And I'll see you next time. Also, thanks for three point five K guys. Bye.